Magandang araw. Ngayon po ay tuturuan ko po kayo kung paano tayo mag-e-enroll ng bata sa ating list para sa kanilang LESF. So, una po, isa-search po natin muna ang list step ed. So, ito na po ang sign-in option. So, lalagay po natin ang ating username at password para po tayo makapag-sign in. So, click natin ang sign in button. After po ng pagsa-sign in na po natin, pupunta tayo dito sa Learner Information System. O sa list po natin. Pindutin po natin yung tap tatlong pahabang linya and then pindutin po natin ang ating master list select item choose LESF and then makikita nyo po na class has no event or case para po makita natin yung mga pangalan ng bata We will choose not tag as LESF. And then, andyan na po yung mga pangalan ng bata. Hanapin po natin yung pencil icon para ma-enroll natin ang bata. So, choose the grade level that we want to enroll. So, ito po ang mga sasagutan po natin. Okay? So, pagkatapos po, magyan po natin ng I hereby certify that the above information given are true and correct. And then, we will click submit. Andito na po ang ating master list. So, itadrag natin to the left para makita po natin ang pencil icon. Okay. So, ang sasagutan po natin ay grade level to enroll, school to attend. So, for learners with special education needs, lalagyan din po natin ng yes or no. If yes, please specify. Father. So, yung father niya po ay automatic na po na nakalagay. So, we will Just select the highest educational attainment and the employment status of the father. And working from home due to community quarantine, yes or no? Lagyan din po natin ang contact number niya. So, so i-ready na po natin ang mga record ng ating bata. So, yung mother name, nakalagay na po yan. Highest educational attainment, ang mother, employment status, katulad po ng sa father, ganun din po, and then sa guardian. And, so yun po ang ating information sa ating learner about learner and enrollment. So dito naman po tayo sa survey form. So sa Household capacity and access to distance learning. So, we will just choose the answer of the parent. How does your child go to school? Choose all that apply. Then, how many of your household members, including the enrollee, are studying in school? Kasama po yung bata. And then, Who among the household members can provide instructional support to the child's distance, distance learning? Parent or guardian, elder sibling, grade 
grandparents, extended member of the family, others such as tutor or house helper or nan, or able to do independent learning. So, pipindutin lang po natin dito kung yan po ba ang sagot ng kanilang mga parent. Next survey, what devices are available at home that the learner can use for learner so choose all that apply and then do you have a way to connect to the internet yes or no what is this learning modality or modalities do you prefer for your child choose all that apply it's either online learning television radio Modular learning or combination of face-to-face -face, face -face and other mod modalities or yung blended learning natin or others po. Next, what are the challenges that may affect your child's learning through distance education? So, choose that apply. Choose all that apply. So, Kung ano po re ang response ng magulang, so ititik lang po natin dyan. Lack of available gadgets or equipment. Kung wala pa siyang gamit na, na katulad ng cellphone, na on, ng tablet, insufficient load or data allowance, kulang ba yung ka may kakulangan ba ng sa budget, unstable, mobile, or internet connect connection, or existing health condition, difficulty in independent learning, nahirapan ba siya mag-aral mag-isa, or conflict with other activities. Nagiging sagabal ba sa ibang gawain ng bata? Or no? Or Lack of available space for studying or kawalan po ng lugar kung saan mag-aaral ang bata. At yung distractions po, sagabal, merong pong sagabal, katulad ng social media, noise from community or neighbor or others. Pag natapos na po natin sagutan po itong mga learners enrollment and survey form po natin so lalagyan po natin itik po natin yan lagyan natin ng check kapag sigurado sigurado na po tayo na ang ating in-enroll na bata at tama na po ang mga information na ating inilagay and then we will click submit So, hindi po natin pwedeng ipakita sa iba yung mga information dahil meron po tayong Data Privacy Act. So, salamat po. Sana po nakatulong po ang aking video tutorial para mas mapadali ang ating paglalagay o oh, pag -e enroll ng mga bata sa ating Learner's Information System or sa LIS. Pwede din po tayong mag-subscribe sa aking YouTube channel Teacher Diana